Hey, beautiful people, it's Lady Love checking in. So, y'all, I made some cucumber salad and some potato salad this past summer. <laughs> and I'm just now getting around to posting this video. So, um, I made some for, I was meeting with some people, um, an older couple that I used to, I used to be their client. They were clients of mine. And we still keep in touch and I love I used to cook for them so I love to cook for them and they invited myself and my daughter out for they were gonna put some steak on the grill and so I made some cucumber salad and potato salad um, to bring along and they have a um, they they have a farm or yeah they have a farm but they're really not raising animals anymore they have a grandson and uh, their son and his son his their grandson who actually does still i don't know what they call him with the cows and everything but he gives them beef um their grandson um supplies them with their own beef and ground beef and they had some steak that their grandson supplied them with so they wanted to you know put some on the grill and they may had a couple of um dishes um as well and i brought cucumber salad this is my first time making it along with some potato salad and i love potato salad i love the way i make it it be so good so anyway um so yeah as you see i cut up the cucumbers i used the recipe that i had just got online and um so yeah i'm just mixing everything up right now as you see and yeah, let me just tell you, those steaks were so good. That steak was so good. And then she gave us some to um, take home. Oh my God, it was so good. Just seasoning it up some more. Yeah, yeah. Because this is quite a bit. I'm going to take some there and leave some here from home for Janice and myself. And so, yeah. Um, as I said, it's been a minute. You know, I haven't, I'm just kind of getting around to uploading some videos some of the videos that i've had um as i'm able to because i got really busy with other things this past summer and then i would just be really tired at other points and i just kind of you know just wasn't consistent as you know much even though i was recording some i just wasn't getting around to um, uploading them so you're probably going to be seeing me seeing me uploading quite a few older videos and you'll be able to probably tell that they're older for some maybe not for others but this one was from the summer is now november <laughs> at the beginning of november so anyway this is what it's looking not like and yeah that's looking pretty good i could have made the cucumbers a little bigger not the cucumbers i'm sorry oh that's good the the, the 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 onions a little bigger and the way they cut them in the recipe it was a little different so i didn't do that right but hey we're gonna roll with it it's still gonna be good Listen, what, how can you go wrong with cucumbers? <laughs> so I'm just going to put a little more salt on there. Could use a little more salt. Of course, salt and all your seasonings to taste. And so I just wanted to give it a little bit more um, saltiness. Just a little more. I don't like to overdo it with the salt. Over seasoning be too much for me. And I just said I had to watch, you know, salt. Um, it's just not good, period. <laughs> but, you know have to watch my blood pressure so yeah i managed that and i don't really be caring for too much saltiness but i do like a little salt now you gotta have a little taste now a little seasoning or something sometimes i just like just herbs and spices but you know I, even when i do that sometimes i add a little season salt as y'all see a lot of times when i season a lot of my stuff i use spices and powder or mainly powder these days um well yeah spices some of my still spices but only you use seasoned salt. And I just kind of use a little. I don't like to overpower my food with too much salt, sodium, that is. And so here are the potatoes here for the potato salad. So I'm just going to just peel the skin off or cut the skin. Well, peel with the knife because I already boiled them. And so now they're nice and soft. So I'm just going to cut them. I kind of cut them and cube them. May not be perfect cubes, but you know, kind of like this, like that, and like that. And so, yeah, I just put them all in the pot so I can mix them in there. Now, those are the boiled eggs. Got them all cut up and diced up, if you want to call it that. And I added those to the pot. 
I'm only using the pot because that's what I cooked the eggs and the uh, potatoes in. So I might as well mix it in the same thing. Of course, I cleaned it out. And so, yeah, there are the onions and green pepper we're going to add in there. And, of course, you all know I just mix it how I feel like it. I don't be measuring. Um, but I did use a whole onion and a whole green pepper. And you see that what I got here, some three celery stalks. I had to cut those bad little parts of the celery stalk off. And I did. And now I added that. Going to add some Miracle Whip, some mustard, yellow mustard that is. Some seasoning. After I mix it up a little bit, that is. Let me just get some of that stirred in there first. And then I'm going to go ahead and add this Lori seasoning. That's what I have now, but you can use any seasoning. So I use whatever I have right now. I have to happen to have Lori's seasoning. So that's what I'm using right now. Then I'm going to add this garlic pepper seasoning. And because it's garlic and then it has pepper too, because you know I like to add garlic to most of my stuff. Then I'm actually add some little garlic powder. <laughs> so some extra garlic. So anyway, there's that. And just mix it up some more. Mix, 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 mix. And this is the end result of the mixing. The mixing, the mixing. And I'm just gonna add a little paprika for color and a little flavor. People say paprika don't have no flavor, but it actually does. Anyway, thanks for watching you all. This lady love checking out. Peace.